Hi, my name is Vanessa Quesada and I am one of the organizers for San Arte uh, Clinic and this was an initiative that started because people were complaining about a lot of the drug use and the heroin use and finding dirty needles and sexual assaults that were happening in the plaza at night. And um, so there was a split in the community between people who wanted the fence because um, they wanted to contain, you know, keep it safer and just like all of these ideas of not wanting to see that anymore in their community and clean up the community and the other side was talking about, you know, you know, this, a lot of the social justice organizations were saying there's not a single park in San Antonio that has a fence around it and it's a public space, people should be able to roam freely. Um, what we need to do is address like the root problems which are trauma and generational trauma and um, lack of resources and access in this neighborhood, in the west side. And so so when I went up there I said, hey, um, it would be great for us to start an interdisciplinary health initiative so that we can build our communities from the inside and rebuild our relationships, not only to the plaza, but to each other as well. Um, because there is a high crime rate in this area and there's a lot of people that are afraid to go out of their homes and it's understandable. You know, Some of the elders walk around with knives in their back pocket because um, they get held up and mugged with screwdrivers and all kinds of things just while they're waiting at the bus stop. So all of this is a reality and unless you're like living it and you feel that pulse, um, I do work at uh, Davila Pharmacy so I feel that pulse of the people of like what's really going on and so through that connection that I have with the people here already um, a few of us that work in this neighborhood uh, Manny at AIT the American Indians of Texas uh, Rebel Mariposa who has her own uh, restaurant at La Botanica uh, with vegan healthy food um, and a few other of us that are here uh, with about 30, 20, 30 somethings, you know, that we're in between generation, that we're caring for the young people and we're caring for our elders now. And so we are stepping into this traditional medicine uh, healer role that um, is really all about caring for each other and caring for our community and remembering that we're a family and in our native way we uh, recognize each other as family. And so really what this is here, what we're doing here is healing ourselves and healing each other and also in the process creating relationships um, to the plaza to each other and also reminding ourselves that there is goodness in the world that there is beauty in the world and that that's where we come from that's where our ancestors brought us here you know that's why we were given this life um, is to share our gifts and complement each other and so we want to create a space where people can not only feel safer uh, but also joyful and loving and be reminded of the power that they have there are so many people that when they receive some of these traditional healings whether it's a limpia or a sobada um, body work massage you can hear the sound healing happening in the background that people are able to bring their nervous systems down and their stress down to a manageable level um, to really remember their center, you know, to remember their power, to remember that they have gifts to offer, to remember that their ancestors, they have a direct connection, you know, we have this connection um, to wisdom, to truth, and we don't spend enough time or take time to really access that. And so we are here sharing the little bit that we know, um, and also it's a way of bridging worlds, it's a way of bridging uh, our Western allopathic medicine um, and therapy. We have all kinds of um, folks that are here that are from the Rape Crisis Center, um, specifically to address if anybody comes that has experienced this kind of trauma in this space. We do have licensed professionals, um, we have pharmacists, we have um, food psychologists, we have coaches, transformational life coaches, we have alpha biotics, we have body workers, um, and so as you can see we're a world rounded group and we have people who study traditional foods and um, have their own business as well. So it's really beautiful to be able to like bring all of our gifts together and present it as a package and just kind of hold people where they are you know and there's been so much release and people have cried people have screamed and it's just like it feels so good to be able to like step out your door and experience healing not just violence but healing with other people in the same space and it be public and people be able to see you crying and it actually it feels good and it feels 
great and it's a way for us to connect and remember our own humanness and our own humanity of connecting um, with our emotions that we all struggle that we all feel pain but we all also have something beautiful and strong to give each other even in our hardest moments you know and that we can be there for each other at different times and pick each other up um, so it's also like bringing back our confianza like our trust um, in ourselves and in our community.